not like it's like that those kinds of things just happen in your spiritual walk in your plexus walk in your marriage like it's a daily thing where you have to show up and grow so what have you done in the in the past week that has helped move you forward that has helped move you forward as an entrepreneur okay um another thing i wrote down is that we can get very wrapped up in just the daily grind of just going through the motions and we end up losing that passion. We end up losing that passion of where we're headed and that big goal and that big dream of like being debt free or building our dream home. We get so wrapped up in the daily grind of like, do this, do this, do this, checklist, 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 which I, checklists are great. I know Natalie and Blakely, like y'all are phenomenal when it comes to that kind of thing. But like, we can't get wrapped up so much in the daily grind that we forget why we're even here. Because what's going to happen is, is that we're going to do the daily things and we're going to post on our social media and then people can see right through us. They're like, oh, here she goes. She's grinding again, but really there, there's no passion there. Like she's just a hobbyist. She's just doing this to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, some people just want an extra couple hundred dollars a month. That's totally fine too. But I'm talking about the people that want to be a jewel that want to make $10,000 a month. Okay. Um, another thing I wrote down, um, is that, uh, when you become an entrepreneur and when you truly have that vision of an entrepreneur, some people are born with it. Some people like, like, I'm a lot like my dad. My dad has his own business. He's never wanted to work for anybody. He, he's, he's like, I want to be my own boss type person. So I'm a lot like him. Uh, but when you, a, a lot of people are not born that way and that's okay too. But if you, you know, once you become an entrepreneur and you have that vision casting and you're bold, you become part of a smaller group of people what they call in the boss group of people. Like there's a lot of people that are bosses. There's a lot of people that are leaders. There's a lot of people, you know, but you become different because you're like, people look at you and they're like, wow, she's like a true CEO entrepreneur of her business. Like she is doing this. She is bold. She's excited. She's confident. And they just don't put you in the same category as someone that's just selling something. Another example Somebody said something to me the other day and I get my feelings hurt very easy. Lauren Collins knows that after our dinner the other night, like I do, I get my feelings hurt easy. I just do. That's the type of person I am. But here's the thing. This person was pr like trying to compliment, but my feeling hurt self again, like it was like, oh my gosh, like that was a stab, but thanks for the compliment. So she said, Marissa, it's crazy. The growth that you've had with Plexus because when you first started and like those first couple of years, like you were kind of annoying. Like I just viewed you as somebody that like, you were just, you were just like wanting to make money and like, you were just wanting to make money off of people. And now like you are like total boss babe mode, like entrepreneur running this team and you're like vibing on all this, like you're just growing and you're happy and you're confident. And I was like, thank you. But then I was like, I can't believe I ever, you know, like you just, it's just the difference of what type of person that you are. And you have to really think about that. And that's something that, you know, even after this call that you can think about. Okay. Um, but you are, once you get to that entrepreneur mindset, you're different, you're just different and it's okay. It's okay. Because in order to be that 1%, you have to do what 99% of people will not do. Okay. Do you know how many 28 year olds get to build their dream home? Not many. I am part of the 1% because I wanted to do and I did what 99% of 28 year olds wouldn't do. Why? Because of fear. They cared about what people think. They were safe. They didn't have somebody pouring into them talking about dreaming. 99% of those people aren't getting to build their dream house and they're living paycheck to paycheck right now. And they are struggling and they are not be growing into the best version of themselves because they're stuck at their eight to five job. And y'all, this, this is just truth. This is like church. This is like Plexus church right now. Okay. Um, another thing I wrote down 
was, um, does your audience know in the last week? Okay, think about your post. Think about what you did, your lives, whatever. I'm loving Natalie, like painting her hair right now. Um, in the last week, what, or sorry, does your audience know where you're headed and where you're going? Does your audience know in the last week, not last month, in the last week, have you made any type of post? Have you made any type of live? Have you like claimed and owned where you're going and owned this network marketing or whatever? Have you done that? Okay. Um, and then another question, does your audience think that you are just another seller or are you bringing something creative and different with your business? Now, yes, we're all one big team and we all have like a lot of the same incentives and we're all doing the same, but here's an example of doing something different. Okay. We have two people on this team that are pregnant. All right. One of them has announced one of them has not yet. Uh, so we had a call with, I had a call with both of those people. They've kind of been in a season of where they just, they've been, you know, that first stage of pregnancy is hard and sick and all the things, and they're ready to get fired up again. They're excited. They're motivated. I said, okay, let's do this. Let's start a support group for moms that are pregnant or that have just had babies. It can be a free group. It could be a free like what me and Natalie did with the summer fit fun, whatever, fall fit fun. Like we started that group. It was free. We talked about beauty, makeup, hair products, whatever. And so these two people, I said, why don't you start a mom support group? Let it be free and just get people in there. I've talked to my mom about doing like a women over 50 who want to get fit and healthy and do all the things. What are you doing that's different? What are you doing that's bringing that creativity to the table? All right. And this kind of goes in hand in hand as, on what we're going to talk about as far as like going from senior gold to emerald. What are you doing that is different than all these other people? Because just posting about Plexus is not going to be enough. Okay. Um, another thing I wrote down, are you disciplined to get the work done? And are you going to keep trying even when you fail? Self-discipline is necessary for becoming a jewel. Self-discipline is necessary for becoming a jewel, okay? So like, what are you doing daily to get to where you need to go? What are you listening to? What are, IPA, are you doing that every single day? Are you mapping out some goals you have for the month? Are you meeting with some of your newbies and talking about some goals they have? Whatever that may look like, that self-discipline and self-awareness is just necessary to get you to become a jewel. It doesn't just happen by accident. Brittany and I are not here because we snapped our fingers and said we want to be a jewel. Okay. Um, okay. Another thing I said, you, you know, we need to look at this business like a craft. Uh, when you did VBS years ago and you did a craft, you all like did this craft and you molded it and you changed it. And the teachers helped you understand how to do it. And you tried it and you may have failed and you did it again. And then it was like complete and you wanted to go. So look at this business like a craft where you are molding and you're going through the process and you're understanding how it works and you're learning new things because this is, there's no ending point. Okay. Those of you that say, I want to get to my next rank or I want to become a jewel. When you become Emerald, that very next Monday or that very next, okay, so let's say it's the 31st of the month and you go Emerald. Guess what happens on the first of that next month? You wake up and say, all right, Brittany, I need a coaching call. We're going Sapphire, okay? Guess what happens when you go Diamond? You wake up on the first of the month and say, all right, I got to get my hubby to Emerald. Like it just, there's no stopping point. So there's no point in saying, you know, oh, I want to get to Emerald. Like, that's going to be my only thing. No, go bigger than that. Go big or go home. Like, what are you going to do to change the world? What are you going to do with ministry? What are you going to do when your family, all your family's debts paid off? What are you going to do? You have to really vision cast the bigger picture. Okay. Um, all right. So let's talk about some things, senior gold to Emerald. So I was hitting senior gold points. 
uh, in August. All right, Natalie and I started a Fall Fit Fun. It literally was called Fall Fit Fun. And it was a free group for women who wanted like beauty tips and makeup tricks and um, like gut health. And we just did like a really fun like skincare type thing. We talked about like where we got some fall clothes and just some fun stuff like that. All right. I was hitting senior gold points in August. We started that group in September. All right. So when we started that group, I gained this whole new level of confidence. Um, okay. Sorry. My low, my low battery mode came on. Imagine that. Um, I gained a whole new level of confidence. Natalie gained a whole new level of confidence. We were going live in this group. Um, we were sharing like where we got clothes and where we got makeup. And like, we just gained this whole new level of confidence. I literally remember in September, like thinking to myself, like, I'm doing this. I am so tired of having this dream in the back of my mind and not getting there. Like my red entrepreneur personality is like H to the E to the double L. No, I'm tired of being senior gold. I'm ready to be an emerald. Okay. My mindset shifted in that September month from a hobbyist to an entrepreneur because I knew that I was going to get there. I just had to find the, the way to get there. Like I had to figure out how to get there. Because some of you right now are like, well, I don't really know if I'll get there, right? Tell me if that's you in the chat, because I know there's a lot of you on here. You're like, I don't really know if I'll get there. I mean, I hope to get there, but I don't know if I'll get there, okay? You already saying that out loud is causing you to go one step back, all right? I'll never forget at convention one year. I know you have to hide your face, Shane. It's funny. I know I do too. It's okay. But literally at convention one year, I remember John Maxwell and he was like, you are what you say you are. You are what you say you'll do. So if you're already saying, well, I probably won't be a jewel. Y'all, my husband even was like, I mean, that's cool, but you probably won't get there. I'm not going to lie. I love him. And he's very supportive and has been the whole way. But he even was like in my ear, like, that's great, babe. But I mean. I don't know. You probably won't get there. Now I'm like, I'll make more money than you. Okay. But anyway, so like, here's the thing. You cannot be claiming right now in this mindset that you're in as I just, I hope I get there. I don't think that I will. You have to show up, put it on your bathroom mirror, put it on your bathroom mirror. I will be an emerald. I will be a jewel. I will have financial flexibility. Put it on your bathroom mirror. And watch what happens to your mindset when you start reading this stuff over and over and over and over. Watch what happens. Put it in your car. When you get in your car, I think I even had it in my car, Natalie, or Brittany. One of our challenges years ago was, and I think it was in that season of when I was hitting senior gold points, we had a leadership training or something. And they were like, put it in your car up by your dash. I will be a jewel. And I remember putting that on my dash in my old Chevy Traverse. Now I got a Lexus. In my old Chevy Traverse, I had it on my dash. And I was like, I got in that car every single day. And whenever my mindset was like, eh, you probably won't be a jewel. Guess what I did? I got in my car and I saw my note. I will be a jewel. I will be a jewel. I will get there. I will change. I will grow. I will have that confidence. You have to claim that and own it now or you're never going to get there. You just won't. You never will get there. Um, okay, so we did that Fall Fit Fun group. I honestly gained a whole new level of confidence. Um, po yes, positive affirmations work. Your mindset is everything. If you're surrounded by negativity, just like I posted the other day, I said, if you're around five people that are making a million dollars, you'll be the sixth. If you're around five people that are growing and reading a book, you'll be the sixth. You just are who you surround yourself with. So here's my advice to you. One of my advices to you moving forward is to connect with somebody 
that you can relate to on this team, not just weekly, but like long-term, like y'all sit down and talk about some long-term goals. So these two moms that I talked about that are pregnant, we had a coaching call last week and we had some really good conversations on what they want to do, where they want to be a year from now. And like, how they want to be, you know, how this is going to affect their family financially, you know, when this happens, not if, did you see that? When this happens, what's their life going to be like? I got a voice record from one of them yesterday that said, Hey, Marissa, if I really start showing up and I do this for a year, where do you think that I could be? So guess what that did to her? Just me claiming that she could do this and that this could change her family's finances and that, that she could, this could help her marriage. And she has a dream to one day be back home with her family. Guess what that did to her? Her wheels started turning. So then I get that voice record and girl, you know, I already know me. I messaged back. I'm like, girl, you could be an emerald in a year. Like you can't, anybody can do this. It's just a matter of going from that hobbyist that I mentioned earlier to an entrepreneur mindset and it has to happen or you're gonna stay stagnant those gold points that you're tired of seeing every single month you can change that by changing the way that you think about this by changing the way that you're showing up on social media by bringing a creative and different way of how you're promoting this it has to be different it has to be creative it has to have passion your why and your vision and your long-term goal has to be different or you're just going to be another plexus paint drink annoying girl, okay? And that's hard love, but it's good love because I love each and every one of you. Sorry, could you say that again? I'm not, I didn't say Siri, watch. Um, it's, it's just the way that it is because I just, I, I love all of you and I know I, I've talked with a lot of you about your dreams and your goals and um, that's something this week that we're going to do. And um, we're going to go live a little bit more in the Hope Dealers. And I'm going to send some videos in our business builders thread on vision casting and just really like dreaming and going from a hobbyist to an entrepreneur. A lot of hobbyists, like they see the bigger picture, but they really like, they don't. Another thing too, as an entrepreneur, guys, like I had in between moments. Like I had in between goals where, yeah, my goal was to become a jewel and become an emerald and make all of this money. But in between that, I had a goal to pay off a credit card and I did that. And that felt really awesome. And that small win turned into a big win. So in between moments of like, I have a goal to take my husband to a cabin in the fall and we're going to do that together. And I'm going to save money from Plexus and we're going to do that. That vision casting is really cool and really healthy for your mind because when you do do that and when you achieve that, it just puts a whole new level of confidence on your mind. So when I was hitting those senior gold points, I think I had a goal of like, what did we do? We went on a family vacation somewhere that fall and I paid for it with my Plexus money. And I remember thinking like, I want to do this all the time. I don't want it to just be a one-time thing. I want to do this all the time. And as a jewel, you can do this all the time. Brittany, what do you say? What, it was your, yeah. it was your um, uh, Christmas train thing. You wanted to do that. And now you've Branson. done that every year Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we have a, every year we go to Branson and it's now a family trade tradition. This year will be year number five. We have taken the kids to Dixie Stampede and the Polar Express. And this is like literally a tradition that I want to do. And even when they're older and they have kids, like I want to do it with our family because Christmas in, at Branson, if y'all have never been, it's literally like a Hallmark movie and it puts me all in my feels. So Branson was one of those trips where I was like, I want to pay for this entire trip with Plexus income. And y'all literally on that trip, I was sharing um, literally on that trip, I was sharing how I was paying for that whole trip with my Plexus income. Okay. Guess what? It was not uncomfortable because I was an entrepreneur. Six months prior to that, it would have been uncomfortable talking about paying for a family vacation because I was a hobbyist. 
And I didn't want to hurt people's feelings. And I didn't want to do this. And I didn't want to sound like I was bragging. You guys, you're not bragging. You are so full of gratitude. I know all of you. And I know when you get your plexus income and your plexus pay paycheck, you are so full of gratitude. And the way that you are sharing on social media, you not sharing, you literally could be missing out on helping someone that needs an extra $50 a month. By not sharing the financial part of this, you could be missing out on helping a family with Christmas this year. Because now we're moving into that type of season where people are already stressed. They're already thinking about how they're going to have to go take out a loan for Christmas presents. Okay. And we have what it takes to make a difference within those families. Okay. I want you guys to really sit and think about that. Like y'all literally have the chance to make a difference in all these people's lives. Okay. Why are we being selfish and not sharing? Because we're in a hobbyist mindset. We just are. Okay. All right. Um, really quick, Brittany, Natalie, is there anything else? Okay. A oh, really quick. So the shout out post, I wanted to remind you all about this because we just talked about this earlier. The shout out post uh, that we do every single month for our newbies, we are, instead of doing a hundred dollars and saying, Hey, we're giving away a hundred dollars. We are going to change that and say, Hey friend, um, there is a giveaway being done. We do it every month. If you win, you get to choose between an Amazon gift card or cash. And, um, if you do a shout out post, you're basically just sharing that I helped you get started on some supplements. If you do that, your name goes in. Okay. Reason why we're changing that is because we don't want you leaders to have to be forking out $30 a month on prizes and $50 a month on prizes and doing all of that. We are going to wait. And at the end of the month, we'll see how many people did a shout out post. And then if you had one of your people do a shout out post, we'll kind of say, okay, we want to do a $50 gift card or a $50 cash prize. And then we all can chip in with like $10 a person or whatever that looks like. Okay. Um, we do not want to put things on y'all, like, especially like our, our weekly challenges and our weekly, um, messenger threads where we do giveaways and stuff. We don't want to throw that on you guys. So if there is a time, or if you're in a season where you're like, I can't do prizes, let us know. Uh, y'all know me and Brittany and we're Natalie, like we're all on like prizes, prizes, prizes. We love all of that. But we also know that y'all are building your business and that um, sometimes financially you just can't do it. So make sure and let us know. Like if we holler at you and say, hey, Abby, one of your girls won the gift card. Do you want to split that with me? Um, you can absolutely say, hey, girl, I, I just can't right now. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, you know, feel free to speak up about that because um, we're, you know, we understand. We totally understand. But that shout out post will be a, your, your, it's your choice of a cash prize or an Amazon gift card. Don't forget to start asking your newbies, especially from net last month. If y'all have not done that yet, those shout out posts are huge because they will have people interested. They will have people kind of turning their wheels on what are they doing? They could do a pink drink selfie. They could take a picture with their kids. We have some graphics they can use if they don't have one, but the shout out post is a really good idea for your new people. Okay. Um, Brittany, Natalie, is there anything else that we need to think of or add? I know you guys have asked about social media and stuff. We're going to try to do a little bit of training on that this week on Hope Dealers. So y'all be looking for that. Britt, is there anything else? Um, just to reiterate what you were saying about like speaking it, your goal, whether it's a jewel or maybe it's just, it's maybe you want to hit Ruby or you want to be senior Ruby, whatever your goal is. Um, I was reading my Take the Stairs book today from our, our book club. And one of the things, I think it was in, I don't remember what chapter this is, chapter four, but Marissa mentioning it kind of made me think back to it. And one of the things that I, that I like circled, highlighted, underlined, starred, everything is you think it, you speak it, you act it, it happens. So just 
thinking it, and we learned, they talked about this at convention too, just thinking it and saying it out loud isn't going to make it happen. If you want to be a jewel, start acting like a jewel right now. Just because you're not a jewel right now does not mean that you cannot act like a jewel. You start acting like a jewel and you will become one even faster. Start doing the things that jewels do. That's how they got to a jewel. The in-person events, going live with people on your team, coaching calls with your team. You should know every single person on your team that you would consider a leader and a runner. You should know as a jewel, you should know what their goals are. If you don't, that's that's totally fine right now. Reach out to them at some point this week and be like, hey, you and I both want this. What is your goal? I want to be an emerald. What is your goal? Because I want to make sure I'm doing what I need to do as your leader to help you get to your goal. Because you may think they want to be an emerald, but they may be fine being a gold or senior gold or ruby or just get their products paid for. You can't think of their goals for them. So acting on it was huge for me and Marissa. Like she was acting like a jewel and doing all of the things that jewels need to do. It's not always easy. It's not always fun. But Marissa and I can tell you right now, it sure as heck was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and like I said earlier, you know, the Facebook group that we did, that's just one example. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you guys could start making it a weekly thing. Like every week go live with a friend mm -hmm. every week, go live, like for testimony Tuesday and make that a new thing that you start doing every single week. And you interview somebody different, either on our team or not on our team. And you can just start doing that every Tuesday. Or like this 14 day if challenge that Daisha's doing, like starting your own intermittent fasting challenge or your own, um, I love the idea of the intermittent fasting, the 14 day intermittent fasting, because they can do the three day reset those first three days and then follow up with, you know, continuing the intermittent fasting and the water and the workouts and all of that. Um, but really, I mean, you just get creative. If there's something on your heart, and, you know, like, you, I mean, you just get creative because that's what makes you different. And I'm telling you, for me, it was like people started coming out of the woodworks, excited to like follow me and watch me. And like, I'm, I've been loving Blakely's reels on her workouts and stuff. Like, I want to go watch them because I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is awesome. Like, she's showing up. She's different. She's motivated. She's excited. So you have to be different. You have to show up differently and people are going to start taking you seriously. Um, is there anything else we can think of? Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. And I was going to add, if you are someone that's like senior silver, gold, senior gold, and you have not created a group message for your people that are working the business, I highly suggest that. It can be a text or a Facebook group. Um, and we have our business builder thread and that's great. But like you taking ownership of your girls and checking in and how you can help them and sending them resources and just doing that will help you be seen as a leader and it helps you own being a leader. So that's a good first step if you haven't done that yet. Yeah. And, and Daisha, y'all, Daisha is an example of somebody who is senior gold, but she has one person working the business under her. And so that, that's why she's kind of taken ownership on this 14 day if challenge. And that's her first step on just kind of owning that and saying, I want to do this. I want to be the one to hit it up. And you guys that do messenger events, you know, some of you that may have never done a messenger event, highly recommend that. It's easy. Copy and paste, copy and paste. Daisha, you did your first one win last week. And you were like, I'm kind of nervous about this, but okay, whatever. And it was awesome. You know, you did great. And, and it was so little things like that. You just take ownership on and it just, it trickles effect. Okay. All right. Really quick. I'm going to let Daisha pray over us. And um, then we can hop off. Daisha, I think we have like one minute. So get to praying, sister. <laughs> really fast, really fast, really fast. All right. 
Dear God, thank you so much for this day and thank you for these wonderful ladies that are part of this group and just for, um, thank you for Marissa and Brittany and Nat.